Well, it's Friday, August 22nd, and we're going to be recapping the active weather and what the weekend holds. First of all, Peggy's Cove. This was the scene this morning and the uh, waves coming in uh, once again during high tide this evening. The waves will be pounding and also for uh, southern areas of Newfoundland to overnight tonight into tomorrow. Brooks, Alberta. We go back a couple of days here and you can see that was the hail and the torrential, uh, the hail and the very powerful winds that uh, knocked out power and then in Winnipeg earlier this week. Thank you, Matt, for sharing this and look at that frequent lightning. All right, so let's take a look at your big picture here. We're going to, of course, talk about Hurricane Aaron. We've got rainfall still in northern areas of Manitoba, but I want to start off in the west where we're going to have a very impressive ridge of high pressure. And today is pretty much day one of a number of days of hot, sunny weather, meaning the forest fire risk will be going up and people will be flocking to lakesides and beaches. So there's your high pressure coming in, even into Alberta as well. I mean, I'm going to show you some temperatures here because it hasn't been a very warm summer in Calgary, has it? Vancouver, Victoria and Whistler could all flirt with 30 degrees. And if you know it's this warm by the coast, well, then you certainly go further inland. Places like Kamloops, Kelowna, Ashcroft, Lytton uh, will be in the so will be a lot warmer than that. Calgary and Edmonton, your temperature is going up through the weekend and we may crack 30 degrees next week. We'll get pretty close to it. Uh, Medicine Hat and Fort McMurray also well above seasonal values too. So good thing we've been getting some rain because the, 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 the floor is going to dry up and heat like that. This is what's remaining of the northern uh, Manitoba uh, rainfall warning. Lynn Lake to Thompson and eastward. So just south of Tadouli Lake and north of Norway House. And we've had some squally winds with that as well. So cool, damp day in northern Manitoba. That rain tapers off tonight. And look at that into northern, uh, southern areas of Manitoba. That is a northwest wind. It is going to be unpleasant in Winnipeg tomorrow, 18 degrees with the clouds and scattered showers and feeling on the cool side. You'll have to wait till about early to mid next week before you get back into the mid 20s. Speaking of mid 20s, you got them in northern Ontario, upper 20s, even near 30 degrees in southern Ontario today with a nice mix of sun and cloud to outright sunshine. Same story in southern Quebec. So northern Ontario to the northeast, northern Quebec, that's where your rain showers are. Thunderstorms likely booming this evening and overnight east of Lake Superior where they're cold front so northeastern Ontario remains unsettled. Some increasing cloud in southern Ontario. The GTA should be mainly dry for tomorrow so get down get that Argo ticket. It'll give you free admission to the CNE and they're expecting their largest crowd of the year and the Argos need your help because they're not doing so well. All right so there's your scattered to isolated thunderstorms tomorrow evening. So again most of the day should be dry. Temperatures are warm in Toronto for the weekend but then you start to cool down. You might say there's a little taste in the air of fall and that will also be true in Montreal where you're going to be looking at 29 feeling like 32 on Saturday thunderstorm Sunday and then low 20s into next week and finally Hurricane Aaron still a category one it is transitioning into a post tropical storm but the bottom line is the heaviest rain will stay offshore that's a bit of a shame we need the rain the strongest winds will be offshore but there will be some pounding surf especially high tide tonight in Nova Scotia tomorrow into Newfoundland